Dean Bennett, Principal of Central Coast Adventist School, talks about the special character of Adventist education. Well, for me it's one word, it's Jesus, but it's the embodiment of Jesus. It's not knowing about, it's actually knowing him. If we know him on a personal level, the rest will cascade out. The policies will evolve, the processes will evolve, the marketing will evolve, I don't care what it is. The physical plant will evolve, but if we know him, then that is the, that's ground zero. That is the thing that starts it. The thing that I'm most proud of is, and I'll use this as an example, is the ability for kids to take ownership of their faith choice. Uh, grade nine boy, uh, travelling on the bus, uh, a lot of our kids travel on public buses, a uh, group of boys start hassling him, true story. Uh, well, you go to that Christian school, that Adventist school, oh, that must mean you're a Christian, man. And, and he turns around and goes, yeah, I am, so what? The confidence and his self-belief that he was a Christian, and in his case he, he was an Adventist and he was okay with that, I just go like double thumbs up. I don't want arrogant Christians, but I want proud Christians. I, I don't like apologetic, embarrassed Christians. And then I take the next step. We don't need to be apologetic, embarrassed Adventists. If you don't like it, if it makes you feel funny, get rid of it. <coughs> but if you don't, hang on to it. That's, yeah, so that's that sort of experience in the kids, to see them like the two, four young people up the front, to be able to be open and go, Jesus is my friend. End of story. I think as schools, we are so inherently predisposed to see performance as the litmus test of success. It's just the industry, that's what we're in. We're in schools, there are tests and assignments and there's HSC, so our psyche is about performance, not relationship. If, if, so the thing wrong, if I say wrong, we've just got performance in front of relationship. If we can just get relationship in front of performance, then I think we're in the right direction. I hope the thing that I'm engendering in my team, my colleagues, is a belief in what we're doing. Not in an arrogant way, but in that middle of your gut, this is what I'm meant to be doing sort of way. The example is this, 12 years ago we came together as seven teachers and we had a little experience where we drew pictures of what we'd like the school to be. Jenny Davey, who was my librarian then, is now one of my teaching staff, she drew a picture of the school in a valley and everyone walking past it to go to other schools. She drew another picture of the school on a hill and everyone changing direction and coming to us. I just want to be known as the school on the hill. I just want to have the school known in that biblical context of there's the light, let's go check out what it is. So that, that's, that's my hope. I want them to have the freedom to make a faith choice that they are comfortable with. I want them to have ownership. Just as my hope and dream for my two children in the school is that they will get to a point in their life where they're willing to say, you know what, Jesus is my friend. That's, that's, and as a dad, I can't hope for anything more.